Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to be looking at Photoshop Elements and how to fix or correct some crooked teeth. Now Seth0923, he was letting me know that there is not a whole lot of options for fixing crooked teeth in YouTube. Not a whole lot of videos on it. So I did a little bit of scanning with one of my favorite artists slash Photoshop gurus that is Matt Kozlowski and I looked at what he did and came up kind of with my own way of doing this. Now you see right now that I've just kind of taken a quick glance at fixing these teeth right here and this is just a set of crooked teeth that I've tried to make a little bit straighter and a little bit wider. So let me go ahead and let you see what it originally looked like and that would be over here. We have a little bit of the crooked teeth right here. Now how I found that I am able to correct this a little bit better than Matt does or maybe uh, for me it was just a little bit easier is to use the clone and the healing brush in tandem so let me go ahead and show you that first I have the clone brush which is down here or the clone stamp tool you will want to up your size or down your size on your brush here you can use the left bracket and right bracket key now what we want to do first of all is find a good place that we have some sort of line in between the teeth that goes up and down and right here is about the only place that I could find that has kind of a nice line there using the option or alt key it gives you the target so you can put it right on the line now the way I do this is I just click. I don't do a whole lot of painting. I just do single clicks. So I will click that and that sets what I want to clone. Now this is his brush. I used his photo here. So I'm just going to go ahead and correct that right off the bat. And you can see that that kind of takes that brush away. Now we have a line up in here. Now we want to correct this one. I go back to the original line, hold the option key down with the target click on it and then come up here about where I want that line and then I want to keep doing this because I want to set the original place right here because this is the only place that kind of looks really nice and I'm going to make this line go all the way down the tooth so we can do that kind of have that there now, of course this does not look real right here, but this kind of gives us a foundation here of the line on the tooth. And that kind of corrects this tooth right here. Now the rest of this stuff we can fix with the healing brush. Like right in here we want to match up these colors. So I can go over here to my healing brush and make sure that it has kind of a medium sized brush to it. Do the option again, use some place that's about the same color I want to use and then I just tap and go in and kind of correct these color anomalies that we have right here kind of matching the teeth up here now this part is just a little bit more difficult because you have to round the teeth out we we'll want to make our brush just a little bit smaller and we we'll want to get one of these dark areas here and we just want to kind of fill in this dark area and try to round out. There's even a little bit more dark area over here that I could possibly use that I'm going to kind of darken in. Oh, of course, if it had the right brush, which would be the clone stamp tool, that would be nice. That is part of the problem here. And we just clone it first. Okay, and you can kind of see that I'm shaping the teeth right in here. Now, you don't really have to worry too much about making mistakes in here because the first thing we're going to do is clone, and then after we clone, we're going to use the healing brush to go in here and correct some of the color differences that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to Alt-click here, Maybe you want to take some of that tooth out. Now, you can do a much better job here than I'm doing, but kind of done that. Maybe a little bit up 
on the tooth. So now we're starting to kind of get a more of a straight tooth here. I'll show you what I mean about the cloning and then healing. Because I'm going to take a piece of this gum and I want to make a line here. Um, maybe this one would be a little bit better. And I want to make a line so this tooth does not look like it is protruding quite as much. Make my brush just a tad bit bigger and start over here with the option click. And then I want to start here and I want to kind of put some of that gum back on that tooth. Now you'll notice that it took the color of this and overlaid it here and that does not look very good. So this is where the healing brush comes in. You click on the healing brush and I can make that just a little bit bigger too. Click over here and now what it's going to do is it's going to start, you'll notice it starts blending that color in just a little bit more here so we don't have that huge gum problem that we had in the beginning and you can see that that's kind of going in there and fixing some of this. Now I didn't do a really good job there but we did kind of fix that tooth by giving it a line in between. Uh, got this little dark area. I could go in here and I could kind of fix this maybe a little bit. It's not doing too well. Let's go ahead and undo those. And see if we can get that a little bit. Now you would go ahead and fix this up a little bit better than I did. But the main thing is, is that you start with the clone tool here. And you got to keep jumping back and forth between the brushes. Uh, if you hover over it, it gives you the letter. So if you just want to click on S, and that will give you the clone stamp tool. And then if you want to click the uh, U, no, J there. Uh, J will take you to the healing brush. So we got the J and then if I jump back to the S and then I jump back to the J. So those are kind of some quick keyboard board shortcuts that you can use here. Now that we've kind of got this fixed, obviously I'd take a lot more time in this but kind of limited with the 10 minutes on YouTube. So I'm just going to give you a general way of fixing this. Fix the line first, then go in and clone. Clone the area that you want to clone and then use the healing brush over here to kind of match the color up after you're done. The final thing that you might want to do to kind of even this all up is go in with the magic wand tool and we can hold the shift key down and select all the teeth here. Now you see that uh, I kind of went in there and got a little bit too much. It's kind of a good plug for using my selection brush here. Got on my selection brush and then we want to use the mask tool right there. Now remember with the mask tool if you looked at some of my other stuff you can subtract from the selection right here and you don't want any of this you, you don't want to whiten up the face so we just want to go in here and kinda of clean that up. We only want to whiten the teeth we don't want to whiten any of the face. So I'm fixing this using the mask tool which is something that hadn't pre been previously available in the much older versions of Photoshop Elements but now they've reintegrated that with Photoshop Elements so it's kind of a nice tool that you used to be able to use in Photoshop but then if you moved on over to Photoshop Elements because it got a little bit too expensive uh, that was some, uh, one of the tools that was missing. Now if we want to add to this, you can see I want to add to this and we're going to go ahead and paint on here and we're going to paint all these. Now we want to whiten these teeth so that's what we want our mask to look like right here. Now if we want to get back to the marching ants, I come here to the selection mode and there we go, we've got the teeth selected. I'm just going to do a quick one. Like I said, you can do much better than this and I'm going to go under my enhance adjust color and the only one I really use in Photoshop Elements is adjust hue and saturation here because the hue um, usually gives it a different color a little bit whiter tone uh, saturation sometimes if it's pretty close to white and I just want to get rid of some of the yellow I can just dial this down to the left a little bit and you can see that it starts turning white a little bit whiter and you also have the lightness scale slider and we can kind of make the teeth as white or as dark as you want them. 
So I'm just going to dial this up just a little bit, make them a little bit wider, but not look too fake. And there we have it. I'll use the Command D to get rid of the marching ants. Obviously, I could have done a much better job here, making it look a little bit more realistic. But I would start with crooked teeth, starting with the lines, the up and down lines with the teeth, then going back and then using the uh, clone stamp tool to clone kind of the shapes in there. And then finally using the healing brush to kind of match up the color. And then if you want to kind of whiten it out, use the hue and saturation sliders under your enhance. Now this method is available in the full version of Photoshop as well. It's got the masking and then the hue and saturation. So either Photoshop or Photoshop Elements can both do this.